Hey guys, I am McD. Welcome back to a daily challenge. I believe we're getting up to like our 30th fucking day. Can you believe it? Man, I think with the uh, with missing like maybe one day aside, but I, I filled it in. I picked up the slack on that one. I can't believe I've been doing it for this long, and I can't believe that some of you are still watching it. But thank you. In all seriousness, thank you for checking out the videos lately. I really appreciate it. Uh, hopefully in the future, I will be able to keep uh, putting up some more stuff. Um, however... On the other hand, uh, it's getting close to the holiday seasons, and I don't know. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be taking a b break from the daily challenge, because, and don't get me wrong, I love Spelunky. I love this game to death, and I enjoy doing the daily challenge for not only myself, but for you guys as well. But it can be a little overbearing trying to um, record at least one a day, um, encode it, compress it, and have it up for you guys by noon the next day. So I'm thinking, you know, with the holidays coming around, opportunities for me to work a bit of overtime and stuff, I'm not sure if I can make that mark. I would like to, and that's my goal, you know. Uh, try to keep it as professional as possible and deliver content every single day for you guys on the channel. Um, but, you know, if not, I will... It's not that I'm going to totally write off the daily challenge. That's not the case. Um, but maybe I'll just do some adventure mode here and there. Maybe I'll sit down on a weekend and record maybe three, four videos of adventure mode. And we can try for some achievements that I haven't uh, taken care of yet, you know? So, that's a possibility. Um, also, it is October. Probably one of my favorite months with one of my favorite holidays. So, you know, shameless plugging here. If you haven't checked out any of the Let's Look Ats that are going to be going up, uh, they're going to be horror themed this month. At least the majority of them, I feel, will be. So, um, this man has a shotgun. Um, why not? Oh, I just purchased the fucking gun and I didn't mean to. Well, might as well kill you to get some money back. <laughs> I really didn't mean to purchase the gun. That goes to show what my thinking is right now. Um, do I want to... Yeah, I want to drop the gun right here. Set off the arrow trap. Hit that spider, and I didn't. And he just hit me. Because I clung to the wall. So, the first uh, uh, level of the run went really, really well. Uh, probably because I wasn't really thinking about what I was doing. But now, <laughs> taking dumb damage, spending money when I shouldn't be. So, ah, who cares? Let's see. We should probably take a peek right here, see what's going on. It doesn't appear to be much, and I'm hoping that's the case. Let's go ahead and throw our gun down there. And we're going to grab the Droopster here. We're going to take him on a journey with us, hopefully, to a sacrificial altar. That would be nice. So, let's have you go a walking along, dog. And we'll just kind of clear a path right here real quick. I don't want to run into any unexpected surprises. Okay. We can go ahead, drop our gun down here, set off that trap. Come here, my little pug friend. And it doesn't look like there's going to be any immediate danger, so let's have you go right there. I don't want to shoot him, so please drop down. Thank you. Oh, and that skeleton was a bad man, too. Oh, crap. Set that off. That was close. <laughs> um, you know what, dog? Why don't you stay right there for just a hot moment? Okay, there's really nothing left. Um, I thought there might be some stuff that would pose as an issue, but remember, we killed the shopkeeper on this floor, so there's not going to be one waiting for us at the door. So, um, and, you know, if all goes according to the way it usually does, if I end up dying in the next, like, 5-10 minutes, maybe I'll do a speedrun or two, uh, especially with the last episode, uh, that should be going up in, like, the next 20 minutes, uh, because I record, I try to record these, like, a day in advance, um, you know, some of them have been going really well. Oh, fucking Spider-Man. Um, and on the last episode, we did like three or four speed runs, and the last one that we had ended superbly. We got, I mean, it didn't go the best, but we got all the way to the fucking temple in like three minutes, which is awesome. We do have an altar, as a side note, and I would love to sacrifice a damsel and pick up an item, because we have no um, passive items on us right now. And there's an opportunity for paste. Let's go ahead, and there it looks like there's going to be uh, a chance for us to ghost as well. We're going to have to use a rope to get back up there. I have to use, like, two ropes. So, ah, oh, I didn't want to do that. Fuck. How do we go about doing this? Maybe if I just kind of do this. Ooh, Jet Eye is going to be on this level as well. Let's go ahead 
Um, there's the exit. A lot of things scattered close to each other. We've got an arrow trap that I don't want to mess with. Let's try to toss a bomb. Oh, fuck. Okay, and that's going to give us the paste. Also set off the arrow trap for us, which is nice. <clears throat> now we got to worry about shopkeepers. That took out the bat. We've got shopkeeper land going on right here. Okay, took him out. I didn't think I'd be able to swing that. We've got our damsel right there. We've got another shopkeeper somewhere in the vicinity, right near that exit. We can do a lot of things here. Um, we're going to have to use a lot of bombs, though, which is kind of sucky, I should say, but... Okay, what we want to do first is let's get the Uja Eye. That's going to be the most important part. We set off this arrow trap, not the other one. This guy already primed us for uh, ghosting, which if we can save a little bit more time, hey, I'm all for it. Um, I would like to sacrifice the damsel next, um, because we're still doing decent on health. But keep in mind, we got probably less than a minute until the ghost shows up, so we got to move, we got to act quickly, and we've got at least one more shopkeeper to have to take out. We're going to have to use a rope to get back up there. So now we're really low on ropes. We got the glove, which isn't fantastic unless we're at Yama. Okay. No ghost yet. That's kind of a good sign. And I had to open my fucking mouth. Now we've got this fuckface to take care of. Let's go ahead and let him out. Let's see if we can actually shoot our shopkeeper here. No, it doesn't appear to be the case. I think I kind of just boned, our, we boned ourselves. Uh, we're going to have to use our last rope right there. What can we do about this situation? Is there a way that we can elude the ghost? If we coax him right here, drop down, and pray that the shopkeeper is thank you over there. Yeah, we'll exit. Um, I really wanted to ghost right there, but... It's, it, clearly was not worth it and we'll we'll have time we've got tons of time to be able to make some stuff happen I'd rather use a bomb underneath her and set her free let's also use our gun to set off that arrow trap a little bit of money right there let's set off that arrow trap that almost hit us right there and we can't forget our damsel who's gonna be over there we'll come back for you my friend but I want to pick up some free money moolah doage green I mean gold we could also be kind of daring and set off the idol. Hopefully it'll take out a shopkeeper or two. Um, let's see here. We have the climbing gloves, so that will help. Hopefully that's not going to kill her. Let's set off this arrow trap just in case. It already did set off. Let's grab our damsel because I don't trust her. I think she's a dumbass and we'll probably walk on some spikes. Yeah, like so. Um, and that cobra will cause issues for her as well. So let's, hmm, I probably should have set off or dropped the gun first. Oh, we can do that though. Oh, he almost shot me in the face. Uh, caveman ain't gonna hurt her. Will hurt me, but... Oh, shit, how do we do this? That's how we do that. We execute that perfectly. Caveman's got one more stomp on his face until he dies. That guy almost shot me. Where are you, shopkeeper? Right beneath me. We have no ropes, so we need to kind of go at this in an intelligent manner, I should say. So I'm going to put a bomb right there to kind of get a little bit more access down there. Let's not worry about... Oh, I just shot him. Nice. Maybe if we keep doing this, we can make something happen. Um, I don't want to get our damsel down there yet. We want to kind of take out the shopkeeper first. I don't want to have to worry about him killing her because we could use the health. I think that might do it. No, he's still kicking. This is not good. <laughs> this is definitely not good. This guy really just wants to fuck me over. Come on, hit him! I don't have time for your nonsense and your shenanigans. You know what? I wanted to tag him right there. I just... Uh, I was going to say... I, oh, I did. I was able to get him. Um, We do have the climbing gloves so we can scale back up there. Let's... There's a... Uh, gun right there for the exit. Let's scope out this last little fuck. The ghost is coming. Okay, drop our gun. We gotta get our damsel. Head to the exit. Mr. Caveman, please get out of my way. It's kind of a shame that we're gonna be missing out on some money, but oh well. I'd rather try to secure uh, not dying. 
Because above all else, that's what's important in, in the daily challenge, just not dying. We've got, uh, whoa, okay, mister. Are you going to be my friend? I don't think you are. You're kind of being weird, so I'm just going to kill you. I, I don't know why he was running free. <laughs> oh, there's a shopkeeper. Um, shopkeeper, I'm not concerned with you. I think you have a better chance of jumping on those spikes than anything. Let's, can we coax stuff out? Yes, we can. Shoot you. Shoot you in the face. How are we doing on money? 33,000. Which isn't fantastic, but again, we don't have to worry about purchasing the Ankh. Um, no black market as of yet. Which, you know, either way, it doesn't really matter. Um, we're going to use a bomb to set ship free. Um, and we will scout ahead before we take him downwards to the exit. We've got some frogs that I don't want to deal with. Oh, shit! Oh, okay, we shot him. We shot him. He is dead. He's out of the equation. That bomb frog will take out Mr. Man right there. Mr. Ooga Booga. Things went well right there for me. Not perfectly, but they went all right. Um, and we do have the climbing gloves. We should be able to somehow get back up there. I'm hoping, because I don't feel like having to use like a bomb to platform up there. Let's set our uh, gun at the exit. Ah, oh, fuck. We're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to use a bomb right here to kind of create um, like some steppage, a way to ascend, I should say. We're gonna grab Chip, drop him off at the exit, and then we're gonna head through the exit because I'm fairly certain that the black market is not on this level. Yeah, I don't want to have to waste a bomb. We are getting low on bombs, completely out of ropes. And without a jetpack or a cape, that's not a good thing. I mean, the climbing gloves are alright, um, but I find that they are most useful in the ice caverns to be able to ascend and descend the sides. We have a shopkeeper. He's got bombs. Lots of bombs. Let's go ahead, see if we can piss him off and convince him to run into this shit right here. Probably not. So let's... Toss a bomb right there. That'll set him free, right? Hmm. Sorry about the sniffles, guys. Let's throw a bomb right here. Oh, shit! I'm gonna die. I might not die. Uh, I'm not dead yet. I am not dead yet. How do we do this? Let's throw a bomb right here. Let's have him just fucking fall down. Or kill him. I'm fine with that. So, we have survived so far. We've got one hit left. We're going to pick up all the bombs. We can sacrifice him, which isn't going to do us too good because he is dead. We could whip this piranha plant and sacrifice it as well, which I'm totally all for. We've got our damsel right below. And we've got enough bombs to get to her and sacrifice her. And we're going to have the Kapala now. So, let's set the bomb right here so we can get access to that ruby. Okay, I should be taking her to the exit, but, you know, with the Kapala, at least we're going to have the ability to get some blood back. Now, what do we want to do? I kind of want to, before the ghost shows up, scale a little bit of the right side here and make sure that the Uja Eye is not going to go off and reveal the black market. Also, pick up a little bit more money and kill some enemies um, and obtain their delicious blood. We don't have spike shoes yet, so we can stomp on this guy like once or twice and get a little bit of blood. We have an idol right there, so that's another 10,000 for our high score. Okay, so the Kapala is nearly filled. Uh, I don't like the situation. We're going to have to jump on you, which worked well. Let's kill you. Kill this bat. Oh, I wanted to get that blood. Black market's here. All right, so... That's a thing. We can kill that little frog and get some blood. Okay, so let's toss our gun down here and along with the idol. We need to worry about this fucking uh, shopkeeper. Also, we have the ghost to have to worry about, which isn't great. Shopkeeper's dead. But now we've got this fucktard to worry about. Black Market is right there. Okay, so we need to coax the ghost, 
which I think is completely possible. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to make something happen with the idol. I would like to. Maybe I can make a lap of it real quick. So let's... Oh, oh, I had a parachute. That's cool. Okay. Black market right here. Let's go ahead. Grab the idol. I want the fucking shotgun, damn it. Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Oh, I squeaked out a victory right there. I should be just going into the black market, but no. I would like to try to get that crate um, and then head into the black market. I'm glad we were able to get our gun because we are absolutely, positively, ridiculously going to need it in uh, black market to save our ass. The one thing that concerns me is I don't have... Um, ropes and ropes um, just to kind of give me a little safe haven above oh shit there we go uh, ropes are gonna give me a little bit of a safe haven from the shopkeepers but hey here's hoping right um, let's go ahead get buck wild toss a bomb right here okay we dropped our gun I would love to be able to kill these shopkeepers one's dead um, I don't know about the second one up here. I guess we can just keep hoping to shoot him, and we did. We did. Is he dead? He is dead. We got um, ropes, which is nice. Let's go ahead and shoot that frog. We got a caveman. Man. Oh, and a skeleton really wanted to dick me over. Um, I think that shopkeeper will kill himself. This one will not. So let's set a bomb to kind of set him somewhat free. Throw another bomb and we ended up tagging him. Thank God. And we're going to get the onk. We've got 13 bombs. I would like to get some more. Hey, shopkeeper, shopkeeper. Are uh, you going to come here? No, you're probably not. Let's hop down here and just kind of start firing our shotgun. Hopefully we're going to tag these guys. We did, thankfully. Fuck. One got past my bullets. But I'm not completely dead. We're just not going to be able to go to hell because we popped the Ankh uh, here in the black market. So now, I want to at least try to escape with my life because these guys are being assholes. They are kind of caught down there, I want to think. So let's... One's already dead. Let's kill the other one. Hopefully he'll run right there into it. No, he did not. I'm getting low on bombs. But I tag... Oh, I didn't tag him. But he did run into that bomb. Fuck, I could just use like two more bombs and get right to the exit and bypass this bullshit, but I would like to see if there's some more goodies over here for me. That damsel is dead, unfortunately. Oh, sigh. I was really hoping that this was we were gonna make things happen after that awesome situation that happened with a ghost. Um jetpack. And of course there's a fucking shopkeeper. Get up. Get up. Okay, he just kinda went down there, which is cool. Fine by me. Um, do I want to mess with him? No. I would like to kind of bypass him. So let's go right here. And shoot the frogs. Shoot all the amphibians. Um, get this little last bit of gold. And let's just head to the exit. Unfortunately, we popped the Ankh. We're not going to hell. However, we have the Kapala. We have a lot of good stuff happening for us when it comes to items. We could get more health right here, and I am actually tempted to do that by using a bomb. Um, set these guys free. Shoot the big B, and then stomp on his dumb head, and I can't. Fuck, I kind of trapped myself. How do I do this? I don't. I'm gonna ha I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm absolutely gonna die. <laughs> I killed myself. <laughs> I tried just kind of setting a bomb right on his big dumb head, and hopefully he would kind of not hit me. He wouldn't be in proximity of me when it went off, but it didn't happen. Not the case. Let's view the leaderboards. 146! Because we almost broke 100 thou. Just in the jungle. So, that's a so-so run, and I think we spent enough time on it today. No need to do a speed run. Maybe we can do that at a later date. So, thank you guys for joining me, and I will see you next time.